Hello, it is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm going to be teaching you how to play Basket Case in standard tuning. So, we're going to learn the entire song right here. So, basically, most videos, when they teach you how to play this song, they usually tell you to tune your guitar um, half step down. But in this video, we are going to be purely using it on standard tuning. So, very, very simple, really. All we have to do is simply move the chords that we usually use a fret above and the very first chord we are going to do is an E flat. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and um, move to the sixth fret, and we're gonna go and bar that. So your whole finger should your finger should be covering the whole thing, all um, six strings, and we're gonna put our ring finger into the D string, and we're gonna also put our pinky finger directly underneath that, which is the G string. So what we're gonna do is. Make sure your guitar will sound like this. That is the first chord we're going to play. Now, I will get into the palm muting later where we do. So just play an open um, string for now, just simply do. Because it is important we get the chord right before we get into the palm muting. So, um, E flat. We go straight to B flat directly after that. Now, um, the way to do that simply, we don't really have to move our hand at all. We just have to simply our ring finger and our in, not index finger, our ring finger and our pinky finger will go directly one string above. So instead of the ring finger being on a D string, it will now be on the A string. So I will zoom in so you can see. So my original chord and my new chord. Do you see the difference? I am simply moving it above one string, so... That is how it will sound like in the finished product, but right now we are not going to worry about the palm muting. That will be after we complete the line anyway, so... So, go to E flat... And that is a B flat chord, and we're going to go ahead and do this. So same logic, but this time we're going to go to the um, third fret and I will bar the whole third fret and basically just like how you do E flat, except this time it is going to be a C minor, um, the ring finger on the D string again and on the G string is your pinky finger. I will zoom in as always so you can see the chord. So you go from E flat. And then you go straight to a G minor, all right? So the way to do this is, again, just like I did over here, I'm gonna go ahead and put our two fingers one string above, so. And then go to do a G sharp, so you will have this so far. After you've got those chords mastered, we're gonna go ahead and go straight from a G sharp. And we're gonna go ahead and go back to an E flat, so G sharp. So your finished um, product will be. I will play it one more time, so... Okay, so if you've got that mastered, you simply repeat that twice. It's pretty much like half of the song, really. You repeat that exact same chord progression twice, but directly before we do the chorus, we're gonna go ahead and go play a G-sharp, so it goes... I'll play it slower, so... Now, that's very simple. It's actually easier than the first um, chord progression. Just go do a G sharp, 
scroll to a um, B flat and go down to an E flat. So that is how you will conclude. So go back. Look, I, feel free to do the palm muting already. I will show that later again as in the finished product, but like I said before, it's good to get the chords on perfect first before we go worrying about the palm muting, but feel free to go in and do that now if you wish to, so. And then. So right before we go straight into the loud part, you're gonna go in and do this. So G sharp. And this is the different part. Now do E, um, e flat. You're gonna do E flat, C sharp, and then C. So your um, ring finger and your pinky will stay on the exact same string. So do not change anything as you do this. All you have to do is simply scroll your own hand up the front. You do not have to change anything. So do. And um, that is the only thing um, left to do is the outro because the majority of the song is pretty much the same. Um, so I will teach you that part right now. So. Let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, that's gonna be an E flat, B flat, um, C, and then here's so. the. Well, C minor, I should say. So, repeat this at this exact speed. So it goes. That's that is on um, the that is bridging usually between the choruses and then um, the um, bridge, which is pretty much just like. Um, and then you go. That is going to be G sharp, and then you're going to do a B flat, and then straight to E flat again. So, like I said before, the majority of the song is the same. Um, I will also put the lyrics on screen in some parts, so you know which part I'm about to play. And then next thing we're gonna do is Yes, the entire part you do not have to palm mute. That is how Billy Joe plays it in the original song. He does. He palm mutes in, in the intro and maybe only one line, but in this the rest of the song you don't have to palm mute. That is um, how he plays the rest of the song. So just like the intro, but without doing this, you can uh, just do just let the strings ring out. So um, do this. That is the final chorus, and now we are going to do the outro. So that is going to be simply like this. So if you have made it this far, congratulations. And this is simply the outro now. So we're going to go ahead and play an E flat. By now, you should know how to do it. So go. C minor, uh, G sharp, E flat, and B flat. So repeat that about four times. Repeat this entire line. And then go ahead and finish off with this. So repeat this four times. I 
I know that the outro itself is much longer, but I'm simplifying it for the end of the video because as I said before, repeat that four times and then be, instead of going to E flat, you're gonna go ahead and play the G sharp and then end up on a B flat. So that is it. So once you memorize these chords, this should be a cakewalk to play. As you can see, it's not very different from when you play half step down. So this video is specifically for the people who don't want to tune the guitars all the time. So this is how to play basket case in standard tuning and it's pretty good. So I will see you in my next video. This is Green Day, Basket Case, and the album is Dookie. And peace out. So I'll see you in my next guitar video. Um, suggest some songs in the description, the, the, the comments, if you want me to make a tutorial on them. And I will see you in my next video.